Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the latest flagship phones from Google, the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. These phones are expected to launch later this year, and they have some exciting features and specifications that I want to share with you. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the design. The Pixel 8 and 8 Pro have a similar look to the Pixel 7 series, but with some tweaks. The Pixel 8 has a more rounded shape than the Pixel 7, and it also has a smaller size. According to some leaks, the Pixel 8 will have a display between 5.8 and 6.1 inches, which is smaller than the 6.4 inches display of the Pixel 7. The Pixel 8 Pro, on the other hand, will have a larger display of 6.7 inches, which is the same as the Pixel 7 Pro. However, the Pixel 8 Pro will have a flat screen instead of a curved one, which some people might prefer. Both phones will have a center-aligned hole punch cutout for the selfie camera and a horizontal camera bar on the back that houses three lenses. Speaking of cameras, this is where things get interesting. The Pixel 8 and 8 Pro are rumored to have a new 1-inch camera sensor, which is much larger than the sensors used in previous Pixels. This could mean better low-light performance, dynamic range, and detail. The Pixel 8 Pro will also have a telephoto lens with optical zoom, while the Pixel 8 will only have a main and an ultra-wide lens. Another major upgrade for the Pixel 8 series is the processor. Google will use its own Tensor chip for these phones, which is the successor to the Tensor G2 chip that powered the Pixel 7 series. The Tensor G3 chip, codenamed Zuma, is expected to have more modern CPU cores and better performance than the Tensor G2 chip which was based on older ARM cores. The Tensor G3 chip will also enable some new features for the Pixel 8 series, such as advanced memory protection, which is a feature that prevents errors in handling memory in native programming languages. This could improve security and stability for apps and games. Other specs and features of the Pixel 8 series are still unknown at this point, but we can expect them to have at least 6 GB of RAM, 128 GB of storage, wireless charging, water resistance, stereo speakers, and Android 14 out of the box. Now let's compare the Pixel 8 series with the Pixel 7 series and see what are the main differences and improvements. The Pixel 8 series has a more rounded design than the Pixel 7 series, which might make them more comfortable to hold. The Pixel 8 has a smaller display than the Pixel 7, while the Pixel 8 Pro has a flat display instead of a curved one like the Pixel 7 Pro. The Pixel 8 series has a new camera sensor that is larger than the one used in the Pixel 7 series, which could result in better image quality. The Pixel 8 Pro has a telephoto lens with optical zoom, while the Pixel 7 Pro had two cutouts for its three cameras. The Pixel 8 series has a newer processor than the Pixel 7 series, which could offer better performance and efficiency. The Pixel 8 series has more RAM than the Pixel 7 series, which could improve multitasking and app loading times. The Pixel 8 series has more storage options than the Pixel 7 series, which could allow you to store more photos, videos, and apps on your phone. The Pixel 8 series has Android 14 out of the box, while the Pixel 7 series has Android 13. So that's it for this video. What do you think of the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro? Are you excited for them? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech videos like.